Hey, Niner Empire, what's up with it? It is finally Super Bowl week, and in a few days, it's about to go down with the Kansas City Chiefs, and hopefully the Niners will get number six. So the last week, I had some time to obviously reflect on that awesome Detroit Lions comeback, one for the ages. And then I realized Wednesday, Thursday, I had to focus my attention on the Chiefs now. We still got one more game to play. And, you know, th this is a chance to, you know, get some vindication for what happened four years ago. And we've had several players, Fred Warner, Eric Armstead, Nick Bosa, Debo Samuel, who you name it, who was on that last Super Bowl team. So I'm pretty confident they know what to expect this time around. Javarius Ward was actually on the other side with the Chiefs uh, when they beat us. So I'm pretty sure he's going to ask some expertise of how to hopefully defend Patrick Mahomes and, you know, Travis Kelsey, even though he said himself, that's, that's, that's just not an easy thing to do. So we're just going to be up. You're just going to have to be up for the task. There's just no way around it. Um, This is going to be different from the last time we played each other. I mean, four years ago, it was mainly their offense and our defense. And then this year, I guess it switched around. We got the better offense and they got the, I guess you could say the better defense. At least according to paper. I'm obviously confident about this game. We've gotten to this point for a reason. But that doesn't mean, of course, I have some reservations about what we need to do better. And first off, I'll start with the defensive running game. We have to do a much better job after Green Bay and Detroit ran all over us. Steve Wilkes said that's just unacceptable. And I'm sure Fred Ward and company know that's unacceptable because these past several years, this defense in particular has set a standard, especially when it comes to the run game. In the last two games, it just hasn't been there. And it's really going to have to tighten up. There's just no way around it because we can't let KC run on over us like Detroit and Green Bay did and expect things to be fine. You, we got to start off early on them. And you know, besides that, the other worry I have is us defending the screen game. Now, from what I heard, Running back Jerick McKinnon was on edge of reserve, but I believe he's going to be activated. Should be playing this coming Sunday. And he's a player that can help take some of the burden off Mahomes and Kelsey. He's really legit in the screen game. So I don't know what it is with us and defending the screen game, but again, we got to be on point. We can't fuck around. There's just no way around it. We got to be up to the task. Offensively, basically, uh, number one, don't make any mistakes. That's the important thing. Secondly, stick to the bread and butter. Keep doing what got us to this point. Run the damn ball. The Chiefs, they have a very solid defense. I think they can be had a little bit more in the run game compared to the passing game. So get Christian McCaffrey going. And if you have to get Elijah Mitchell in there and if things break down, I'm sure Brock Purdy can use his legs. He's demonstrated that. Uh, yeah. Again, I never know what to expect with these games. I feel this is the 49ers time. I really do. Especially how we 
not perform, but I I don't know how to say this, but because I mean we can do much better. But the one thing we have demonstrated is that when there is adversity, that this team can respond. Now, hopefully we don't have as much as adversity with the Kansas City Chiefs because this is a team that will step on your throat once you're down. We can't mess around. We can't. So, I mean, again, I, I believe this is our time, but I know as better as I do, this is Casey's first rodeo. They've been down this road before more than us, obviously, as, as far as the Super Bowl. So they know what to expect. They know what to do. And I, I, I just expect them to bring their A game. We got to be ready. Offense, we got to limit the mistakes. We got to run the ball and pick and choose when we can attack that second area if possible. And defense... We got to stop that run. We got to defend the screen game. And like Steve Wilkes said, everybody has to, everybody on defense has to play as if that particular play depended on the game. They have to play like that. Everybody has to sell out. And that goes for the offense too. Everybody, offense, defense, coaching, everybody has to sell out in order for us to get number six. And, and I always say this, and I, you know, I know you're tired of hearing it, but it always comes down to execution. And you, you have so many quote-unquote experts saying what they feel is going to happen in the game and what they think. And, you know, maybe rightfully so, you know, on paper, but... They know as much about what's going to happen in the game as I do. Nobody knows what's going to happen. The Niners don't know what, what's going to happen, and the Chiefs don't know what's going to happen. Both teams have an idea of what they want to do. It's just all about going out there and handling your business. And it's not going to be easy. None of these games have to be easy in the postseason. Sheesh. But I really, I really feel we're destined to win this. We just got to go out there and make it happen. Brock Purdy, Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, Mooney Ward. We're all ready. We're locked and loaded. You know, hopefully it's a good week of practice. In case you guys haven't heard, I believe the Chiefs are using the Raiders practice facility while the Niners are using UNLV's practice facility. And the fielding at UNLV is already off. I mean, it's too soft or whatever. So I know they had a work, uh, their little walkthrough today. Um, I haven't heard how it went, but it'd be nice if they could sort that out because... <laughs> I want us playing on a level field. <laughs> nah. <laughs> UNLV, somebody need to do something about that because that, that ain't right. That, that, that ain't right. We trying to win number six and then we got to deal with this shit. No, 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 no. Fix it. All right. And I know that's all I got. I won't keep y'all long. Um... Not sure if I'm going to make a video leading up to the, the Super Bowl. Probably not, but you never know. Um, but I'm ready. I'm ready. It's been 29 long years since I last experienced the euphoria of my San Francisco 49ers being a Super Bowl champion. You know, in less than seven days, I'm going to know my fate. Either I'm going to be a happy man or I'm going to sit here mumbling, wondering about, am I ever going to see another Super Bowl again? I'll leave that up to fate. 
So that's all I got. I feel good about our chances. We got the squad to do it. I feel we're built for this. I feel we're ready for this. Let's go out there and handle some business. All right, Niner Empire, one team, one family, one goal. And I will get with y'all next time. Late.